Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you give us this wonderful day before us, Father, with KC and with Brittany, Father. We're just praying, God, for your blessings upon their marriage, upon the many, many days and months and years ahead, Father, that, that they will have together, Father, uh, that they will work hard to be able to serve one another, to love one another, to embrace each other, to be there for each other, Father. And honestly, for such a beautiful place that we get to do this in is your creation, Father. And so we thank you and we worship you through your son's name, Jesus Christ. In him we pray. Amen. The day that I first met you, I knew you were something special. I soon realized I looked at you differently than anyone else. I felt something deeper than I ever had before. You started coming across my mind more and more every day. My curiosity soon got the best of me, and I became the, the annoying guy in class you came to despise. <laughs> I stayed optimistic. I then started to think of every way to impress you, a way to grab your attention, just hoping you would think of me during your day. But most importantly, I never gave up. And here we are today. Today, I'm more sure than ever that you are something special. Today, I'm thankful that for some reason I'm blessed with you. And today, I get to call you my wife. And on this day, I promise more than ever that I'll never give up. Through the tough times and the bad times, I'll be there by your side and help you grow to your full potential. And I know that you'll do the same. Now we're about to say I do. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm a woman of less words. <laughs> Casey, I vow to love you every day and every second of every day. I promise to make you laugh and laugh at myself. You have taught me how to truly love another person. You guide me to love and to my wishes. You have shown me the true meaning of life and living life fully. I can't wait for our journeys together and growing old together. For our life full of children and family. You're my love, my life, and my truest blessing. I vow to give you my heart and all of it until death do us part. Hi, Casey. Hi, Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Casey. To be my wife. To be my husband. According to God's holy decree. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For rich or poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. And to that. I pledge to you. My faithfulness. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He's like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and it's not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. I think that's pretty, pretty right on the money considering where we stand. <laughs> and may it be true that you too live your life in such a way that you are planted in the Word of God so that you truly would be nourished. Because your relationship with God, honestly, is going to have everything to do with how you relate to one another in the process. With great honor, and I'm very, very pleased to say this, you, Casey, may kiss your bride. Lead and guide them. Direct them according to your word and according to your will, Father. May this marriage truly represent you and represent your son, Jesus Christ, and what he has done for the church. It's in Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Amen.